Berkland here with CindyBerkland.com. I'm excited to talk to you guys today and spend some time. And, you know, I got to thinking about it. You know, I have been in the money business for a while now. And, you know, I have always been focusing on what it takes to be the best financial advisor or the best financial planner for you. Um, I focus on strategies and money planning, but I just wanted to ask you, you know, what are you looking for uh, in a, an advisor? Um, who would you want to partner with to help you with your money? And what I, what I did years ago when I had such horrible experiences with my advisor is I really took a look at what had gone wrong and why I didn't want them to be an, my advisor anymore. And then I just sought to create a plan and to create a firm that would do the opposite of what my advisors did to me. And that what that looked like for me was to be as knowledgeable as I could and <laughs> to care, quite frankly. Um, I felt like my financial advisors really didn't care about me. They cared about my money, but they didn't care about me. And that was a big problem for me. And, and I have a rule that my friends become my clients and my clients become my friends. So I, you know, for me, top of the barrel is care and knowledge. Um, do you want a financial advisor that protects you? Um, as an example, I am working with clients right now that, you know, they've been at other firms and they are losing money in the stock market. Their financial advisors haven't called them to move their money around and put their money in more of a safe place. And, you know, I've asked them, how does this make you feel that you've just been kind of left out there to just lose all this money and nobody's really looking out for your best interest? So we're getting this money moved and put into um, a better place for them. And, and you know... I always ask people, you know, don't don't you want your advisor to be on this if something's going wrong for them to be reaching out to you before you have to call them? Um, a good financial advisor should be giving you products that are best for you. Not all products are one size fits all. And, you know, younger people get different products than people that are aging, getting older. Um Sometimes there's products that are good for all of us, but some are more expensive and that, that is that is to be taken into consideration as well. Um, do you want a financial planner or advisor that teaches you and educates you about money? I never think it's a good idea when I have clients that say, Cindy, I just want you to handle my money. Everything's fine. You just do it. You know, that was my attitude back in the day before I got into this business is to just earn my money and let my financial advisor take it from there. Not a good idea. You've got to know where your money's at and why. It's super important. Um, do you want a financial advisor that has you be your best financially? You know, um, do you want a financial advisor that is your money cheerleader? I am always encouraging people to save money before they spend money. If you're going to spend, spend with a plan. You know, like, hey, if you want that really nice car, plan for it. Don't just go out and buy and make an emotional decision on a vehicle or a house or clothing, that kind of thing. Um, but last but not least, don't you want your financial advisor to inspire you to do better? This is a must. Your finances must get better over time. And if that's going to happen, there's kind of some things that need to take place. And I just want to say this, if this conversation interests you, please get a hold of me at cindybarkland.com and let's have a conversation today.